Hey guys, welcome to my very first YouTube video. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hugs. <laughs> yes, yeah, so welcome to my first ever um, YouTube video. It's been a long time coming, but we are finally here. Okay, so this video i figured if we're gonna do this channel right if we're gonna do it right we might as well get to know each other so this video will be uh 21 questions about me of course um so i just pretty much googled <laughs> 21 questions and just picked out the best ones from every blog site that i saw from and so that's what we're gonna be doing today if you are interested in knowing more about me um keep on watching and we can arrive the book and share the of love i wanna Okay, so let's jump right into it. The first question is, oh, by the way, if I'm looking down, that's because I'm looking on my laptop um, for the questions because my phone is what's recording us right now. So yes, first question, what is my name? My name is Monique, Momo for short or Mo, either or will do just fine. But my full name is Monique or my, my full first name is Monique, okay? Second question, how old am I? I am 28 years old, just turned 28. My birthday uh, was October 17th, 1994, I was born. 90s baby, hello. Um, but yeah, so I'm 28. Um, so yeah, my birthday just passed. I'm a Libra. Hello, hello to all the Libras. If you hear, do a little boo boo in the, in the comment section. But yeah, so I'm a Libra. Yep. Next question is, do I have any tattoos? No, I have absolutely no tattoos at all. I did want to get a tattoo and I was going to pull the plug and do one last year during the summer and get one with my friends, but they was not with it. So I ended up getting a tattoo, but that was probably the only time I would have ever gotten one. Okay, the next question is, where am I from? Okay, so I was born in Jamaica Kingston, Jamaica, that is. And then I moved to the US, New York, specifically when I was eight years old. So I was like, what in, I was, I was going to the fourth grade. Yes. So I was eight years old when I moved to America um, to live with my mom. Yeah, my mom was a little single mother or whatever, but she did her thing with me, okay? So yeah, it was just me and her once upon a time, just, you know, Thugging it out. Do I have any siblings? Yes, I have one sister, um, a younger sister. The next question is, do I have any kids? And the answer is no, I have zero kids and I've been going good so far. So we're gonna keep it that way. <laughs> At least for now, until we find the one that's gonna put a ring on thy finger, okay? Rap. Okay, my favorite music genre. I do not have a favorite music genre. I listen to pretty much anything. As long as I can like groove to it and do a little mm mm mm, little mm 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 mm. mm, 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 mm. Or not even just start twerking because I'm a twerker, okay? But not even just twerking. Just anything I can like bop to. I got my head doing this. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that that's it right there. So I don't have a favorite genre. All genres are my favorite genre. As long as I could do a little bop to it, a little ditty bop, I'm good. So the next question is: Did I attend college? And if so, which college? And what, what year did I graduate? So yes, I did attend college. I went to Hunter College in Manhattan um, and I graduated, I believe in 2019. Yeah, it was a little, not that long ago, but yeah, I believe it was 2019. 
and I majored in um, sociology and minored in psychology. So I kind of have like a dual, like, what do they call it? Like a, I did a dual study. Is that what they call it? I don't know, but major with sociology, minor with psychology. And that was because I thought I wanted to be a social worker. Um, not anymore, but so yeah, that's was what I <laughs> majored in. My favorite, my favorite color. Okay, so it depends. <laughs> it changes. It changes. So currently right now, my favorite color is green. I love green. Um, I don't even have, let me see. As you can see, green is my favorite color. This is my phone case currently with my name on it. Green. I bought a little travel jewelry case, green. My little headband that I uh, used to do my skincare, green. So like right now, currently, my favorite color is green. It may change, it may not. And also, I love how I look in green. I don't know, I just look rich. Like it makes my complexion look so bomb. So yeah, and I also love black. Black straight through, okay? Straight through, straight through, straight through is black, all right? I love me some black. I love to wear it. Um, don't necessarily care to, I guess, look at it, if that makes sense. But I love, um, I love wearing black. Like, 90% of my clothing is black. Just recently, this past year, I've been dibbling, dabbling in color. For the most part, it's always been black, and it probably always will be black. Just saying okay um what's one item i cannot live without okay uh let's see let's see let's see hmm does it sound very like weird if i say my phone i don't know well it's me right it's 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 about me yeah i think my phone is the one thing i don't think i can live without and this is an item. This is not like, so like obviously food and water, okay. I guess if the question was, if you're stranded on an island, what's one thing you would bring with you? And it'll probably be food. <laughs> I would leave the phone and bring the food. So in that case, I don't know. It's between those two. But if it's like I'm stranded on an island, I can only bring one thing. What am I going to bring? It is going to be food. Next question is my best physical feature. I think my best physical feature is my smile. It took me a very long time to appreciate this feature of mine only because of my gap. Um, I don't know. I'm just not, I'm still not in love with it. It's still a work in progress every single day. Um, but yeah, it's, it's my smile, but yeah, my gap is just, I don't know. I plan on closing it with Invisalign. As I get older, my gap gets wider. So I don't want it to be a situation where it gets too wide that you can fit a whole other tooth in there. Like to me, that's like a no-no. Um, but in the meantime, in between time, uh, we gonna start with this gap right here <laughs> and show up the smile, okay, okay? Um, my favorite snack. Ooh, um, I'm not much of like a snacky person like that. What I can say that the one snack that when I do have it, I like have it consi not consistently, but I eat most of it all <laughs> off in one shot, or I've had it more frequently than others is the Cheetos, hot, the hot flame and Cheetos. Those have me in a chokehold. I mean, those have me in a chokehold. I love those. I, I love them. Popping them just like, just popcorn, like, you know, regular. Next question is, um, what is something I would change about myself? So like piggybacking off of, you know, like I said, my gap. Um, my gap would be the one thing I would change. 
it may be my stomach because you know that ain't you know all the way there but i mean one more than the other so i would say my stomach more than the teeth mm -hmm. i wish i just had a flatter stomach and a cinched waist uh, and some hips i wish i had some hips child like forget the butt just give me some hips i have absolutely no hips i'm like this that is not okay okay next question is my favorite meal or my favorite meal to cook okay so my favorite meal is hmm, maybe it changes it changes it changes like there's no meal that i would i can eat consistently every single day i get tired of things so if i eat it too frequently i'm i'm tired of it i don't know i really don't know if i had to pick like a type of food i guess i love jamaican food i do don't get me wrong i love jamaican food it's like a given but other than jamaican i think i'd have to say i love me some good old soul food I love the collard greens. I love the candied yams. I love the fried chicken. I love the fried fish. I love, I love Southern food. I mean, anything that you can, <laughs> y'all, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> Wait, now, nah, for real though, I love me some Southern food, some real down South food. Food. I need to I need to make me a trip to the to to the south very soon so I can have some because the ones out here in New York is not hitting. Like the real stuff is down south, obviously. I just don't do like um what's that thing that they, they eat? Um chitlins? Oh yeah, no, I'll I'll pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Favorite meal to cook. I love to cook seafood. Anything seafood she can whip up and also anything pasta she could whip up i'm now recently learning how to make jamaican food so that surprisingly it's you know it's still a working progress because i just feel like jamaican food it, there's a master to it that obviously i'm lacking and so the food don't be hitting like how my grandma or like my mom be cooking it just don't hit the same but um i'm learning so it's fine i still got some time <laughs> and um but yeah to cook like i could cook by myself i don't need no help no tutorial none of that it's seafood and pasta and they're also very easy to cook also they're not they don't require much knowing <laughs> to do really at least the pastas i'll be making and the seafood i'll be making it don't require you to to know much just you know so uh, or much patience so yeah i love that something i look for in a partner Ooh, okay so something that i look for in a partner he has to be respectful avi he has to be loyal and have a good sense of humor because i love to laugh so if you can make me laugh you you somewhat there okay you somewhat there with me has gentleman tendencies so as in like he opens the door you know the chivalry you know that type of thing what else i want him to be like romantic like surprise me with things like flowers like randomly like just because flowers or you know like little stuff like that i think that's like the basis for now and obviously he has to be attractive i keep getting messages all right, next one is, do I have a type? Well, I guess they're talking about men. Do I have a type? Uh, I do. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I think I most definitely did at one point in my life have a type. Like, he had to be, um, oh, what, I forgot one more thing from the last question. Um, he also has to be six feet or taller. I am 5'7". And it's unfortunately, it is one thing I cannot look over is the height. Yeah, 
I can't look past it. But uh, back to my type. So yes, I did have a type. My type always were like tall dudes or whatever. And I also like them a little rough around the edges, a little um, bone thugs of harmony. <laughs> but it also gets very tricky if he possesses all the qualities that I look for in a guy, but he's like 5'11". Would I then not date him because of that? And the answer is I have no clue. Do I have any regrets in life? Um, no, I don't. I'm a student in life, if that makes sense. So whatever happens in life, good, bad, or the ugly, I just look at a situation where, you know, I learn from it and now I just keep it pushing. Like, it is what it is. You know, you can't really change anything. If it was gonna happen, it was gonna happen. Where do you see yourself in five years? Okay, this is a very tricky question for the simple fact that I don't necessarily think that far ahead okay so how this whole YouTube thing came about was like I was I put it on my vision board so I'm more of like a year person but in terms of like two three four years ahead I my brain does not bring me that far I don't know if it's me subconsciously not wanting to think about the future that far ahead where I just want to think about the now and like what I can do or accomplish within a year versus what I can do in two, three, four years or whatever God has in store for me to come, it will happen. I don't know what I will see myself in five years, but I do see myself happy, blessed just flourishing and I think this is over 21 questions at this point we this is over 21 questions I know for a fact so the next question is top five favorite movies okay so all my favorite movies are going to be old we talk in 90s early 2000s and they're all black they're all black movies okay and they're in no particular order brown sugar Save the Last Dance, Best Man, the first one. I like All About the Benjamins, and one more. She's All That, yes. So, Brown Sugar, Save the Last Dance, Best Man, All About the Benjamins, and She's All That. So, the last one is not an all-black movie. It's the one selective honoree <laughs> in my top five um but usher and little kim is in that movie so it's, it's 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 as black as it's gonna get okay okay so the next question is what is my favorite childhood memory i think i'd have to say growing up in jamaica all right and so the last question is what made me want to start a youtube channel I always wanted to start a YouTube channel. It has been in talks for years, okay? I probably wanted to start a YouTube channel like 2019, the year, the, the year I graduated college or 2020. But it's been, it's, been a, it's been a thing or a thought of mine like for that long. So, and every year I say I'm going to do it, it never happens this right here is the closest i have ever become to doing anything youtube related and always made excuses as to why i just never do it oh i don't have a good camera or oh i don't have the space to do it or you know I'm, i don't really do anything i'm very boring i don't you know what am i gonna do da -da 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 -da, yada, yada, yada. like i always had an excuse as to why i never did it and so this year i was just like forget all that we are going to do it like we're going to use our iphone until we can afford to get a camera we are going to buy the tripod and get all the appropriate lighting and all these things until you can you know like invest in more quality things or whatever the case may be so i was just like you know what forget all of that forget all the doubts that i ever have and you're just going to do it you put it on the vision board and so now you have to do it making myself accountable like you have to do it now because it's now you you put it on there you know and so normally i take everything that i put on my vision board very seriously i don't know why 
Every time I put something on my vision board, it kind of comes true. I've been so motivated to do it because I see all these girlies that are doing such an amazing job on YouTube and TikTok and you know, all these social media platforms. And I'm just like, I can do that. And if it's only five people that watch it or a thousand people that watch it, either way, I'm, I'm happy. So that's, that's really why I, you know, made a YouTube channel because I'm proving to myself that I can actually do it and I'm going to actually put forth the effort to do it. And so here we are. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching. That was the last question. Um, I actually had fun doing this. This is actually very cool. I would really appreciate it if you guys would like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, and also you guys answer some of the questions down here in the comments as well. You know, let's get to know each other, you know? Um, and yeah, once again, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe okay we need the subscriptions we need the comments and we need the likes okay thank you guys again for watching i greatly 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 appreciate it um and yeah i'll see you in the next video bye